Hi, I'm Dara Hogan with the Omaha Public Schools Office of District Communications. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the Spotlight. Well, we begin with a look at one of the major renovation projects that's come from the OPS bond issue. Beverage Magnet Middle School will soon go through a major remodel, one that is expected to transform the school in a big way. Essentially, other than adding the concrete, virtually nothing has been done in this building since they built it back in 1960. We thank you very much uh, for including us in this bond issue and for the voters. My goodness, thank you for your generosity to the Omaha Public Schools at a time when we desperately needed it. It's about time we fix this place. It's going to be a great opportunity for people here and in the future. And one of the things that was pointed out by several staff members was window units that were so loud you couldn't hear the teacher talk. In fact, I remember one of the gentlemen in the, in the audience today said, my son goes to school at a school where the window units are still in the, in the school, but yet other schools are brand new or gorgeous. And this bond issue corrects all those inequities. It corrects the schools that hadn't been touched for 50 or 60 years. When we passed this bond, I wanted to make sure that Beverage got the top-notch facility that it deserved, the technology, the heating and air conditioning, the pride that you can have in the building. So I'm really excited that this project started. like one wing of the school all closed off so it's kind of crazy already but I can imagine how crazy it's gonna be next year too but it's really exciting to see it's all actually happening and not just talk anymore. I really understand the commitment OPS and the taxpayers are making to the education of our children and the future of our city. Creating an environment that supports learning, motivates and challenges students. They learn the importance of academics, leadership, and community service. This investment in our young people is important for all of us. A new arts wing will be built in addition to the renovations and includes a multi-purpose performance center. This wing will provide a space where students can enhance their learning and understanding of the arts. And we're going to be able to do a lot more performances than just a couple here and there. Now students, in order for beverage to remain great, you have to do your part. We can build brick and mortar and we can bring in the best teachers, but unless you do your part, the legacy of beverage will not go on uh, like it should. And so I want to leave a challenge for students today, and that's for you to do your part. As buildings around the district make strides toward the future, theater students at Central High recently focused on moving into the past. Here's Career Center digital video student Carter Jansen with a look at the performance of the Awesome 80s Prom. This is the Awesome 80s Prom. It is a story about an 80s, 1989 prom. And that's exactly what happens, is you're going to find out who are the uh, nominees for prom king and queen. Uh, there's going to be some dancing, some voting. In fact, the audience helps to choose who the prom king and queen are uh, at the end of the show. I am the assistant stage manager and prop screw head of the show. I like the fact that I get to have such different relationships with other people, because when you're just like on the same level as them, it's not the same relationship as when you're ahead of them, but you're still not like 
completely in charge with them. I also like the challenge of it. It's a lot of fun to see how far I can push myself and how good I can do at my job. I play Whitley Whitaker, head cheerleader, and also the girlfriend to Blake Williams, the star quarterback. My character's personality is a bit snarky and kind of a know-it-all. She's always starting drama, always wanting to know everyone's business. Everyone kind of looks up to her and is kind of fearful of her because they know she could really do some damage. I play Mrs. L or Pratt Lacusco. I'm the drama teacher to the um, students that are participating in the prom. Mrs. L is kind of a leftover hippie. She was very out there and around in the 70s. She is trying to become friends with the students constantly. So she's like doing the trends and trying to be a teenager, but as their teacher. I'm, I'm Louis Fensterswak. Uh, I was invited to prom with my friend Carrie. Uh, keyword is friend. That's all she wants to be with me. A lot of people call me like a nerd or a geek, but uh, to the people who call me a geek, that's totally wrong. I mean, we're nerds. We're the smart ones. The geeks are just... <laughs> They're like the Captain Picards, and we're like the Captain Kirks, if you catch my drift. Well, the play was a huge success, and not to be biased, but as a Central alumna, I'm looking forward to seeing what Central will have to offer next fall. Well, this spring, hundreds of community members and Omaha Public School students teamed up to run a race to recognize Heroes of the Heartland. In April, communities across the country celebrated the 100th anniversary of ROTC and JROTC in a 7K race. Omaha's run took place at Lake Zerinsky in Omaha. The run honored Heartland Medal of Honor recipients and their families. More than 200 community members raised $5,000 in Omaha. The proceeds will help build a wall bearing the names of more than 100 Medal of Honor recipients at Heartland of America Park in downtown Omaha. Ever wonder what it would feel like to get a perfect score on the ACT college exam? Yeah, me too. But you might ask one Omaha Central student. 20 students in Nebraska's class of 2016 achieved a perfect score on the ACT, including Central High student Michael Savalis. Now that's pretty impressive. Congratulations to Michael and to all the 2016 graduating perfect scoring 36ers. Where nearly a dozen OPS Career Center students will put their skills to the test this summer as they travel to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville is the site of the 2016 Skills USA and National Leadership and Skills Conference. The students will compete in career education fields including digital cinema production, auto body refinishing, and health occupations. The group of 11 earned spots in the national competition by winning first place in their areas at the State Skills USA competition. The conference attracts some 16,000 students, teachers, and business partners. In addition to the competitions, the students will have the chance to take part in educational seminars, demonstrations, and leadership training. Well, speaking of competitions, OPS and Special Olympics Nebraska held its first unified volleyball tournament at Omaha Burke High School. Unified volleyball is a sports team where students with and without disabilities play competitively. Families, teachers, and community members attended the event. OPS students at the transition program won the tournament. Well, that's all for this edition of The Spotlight. If you'd like to see this program again, watch for it on Cox Channel 18, The Knowledge Network. You can also see it on our YouTube channel. Just do a search for OPS Web TV. Now, we'll leave you with a look at some of the award-winning art recognized in the 2016 Scholastic Art Awards contest. Thank you for joining us, and have a great summer.
Whoa, Taylor, do you know how much sugar's in that pop? In this? It can't be that much. I think it's more than you think. Check this out. Many of you may not know that a 12 ounce soda contains 10 cubes of sugar and a 20 ounce soda contains about 16 and a half cubes of sugar. Not to mention, one liter of soda has about 27 and a half cubes of sugar. Many of you may think of choosing an alternative beverage to drink, but choose wisely. Depending on the brand, some 20 ounce bottles of flavored water contain as much as 17 and a half cubes of sugar. You may want to consider along the lines of drinking a vitamin water, which contains eight cubes of sugar in a 20 ounce bottle. So, you still wanna drink that pop? Oh no. That's a good decision. For more information about the amount of sugar in everyday foods and drinks, check out sugarstacks.com. Twelve, it's a biggie. Oh. You could write dots if you want to. The heart, we're gonna go to the eyes. Eyes, you guys are gonna go to Well, I just think OPS is a very um, friendly school district that just is trying to help you get um, get good grades and achieve at your highest level so that you, they can prepare you for high school. A lot of the teachers at, at, at my high school are really great. They care about the kids. They care about you know their future and they want them to succeed. My teacher sometimes helps me with um, following along because sometimes it's a little hard because I'm not very good at math. engineer because in sixth grade I was on a robotics team. But the teachers, they're really nice and they actually understand what you're saying and stuff and uh, they can actually relate to you. Probably the thing that has impacted me the most is my PE teacher and swim coach, Mrs. Osby. She has always pushed us to do the best that we can and just always give a hundred percent and just um, and do everything to the best of our ability and that's I think what got us to back-to-back -back city championships. My favorite subject is math because um, I used to have a B and I got, I got it up with an A because Mr. Cardell made my brain bigger and smarter. It's a really nice school here and I really don't want to leave.